Hey, it's Jane. How are you? I'm here. Um, been a long time since I did a video, so I thought I would do one today. I actually did one of the release the negativity or release the negative tag videos. Um, I just posted that, so maybe you saw that. That was cool. Um, I enjoyed all of those that I've seen before. Um, some of them were very touching and um, inspirational to me, so I thought maybe I could be the same for you or somebody else. Anyway, um, so I just um, I just made another video. It was like eight minutes of me not saying jack shit. So my husband said, I think you're rambling. So there you go. Um, so I'm making a new video. Uh, things I wanted to discuss were um, Tom, who has been in the hospital, and Tom had um, gallbladder surgery, and it seemed like it, it was very serious, and he was there for several days, and I know he's home now, and I hope he's feeling much better. Um, so if you're watching Tom, I hope you're getting well. Um, you got to get ready for the Las Vegas uh, for the meet and greet, so um, you got to get better to do that. I know how much you've looked forward um, to that all year long. I wish I was going. I am not, unfortunately. I will be missing it this year. Um, I hope maybe I can go next year. Um, so <laughs> I wrote down a little card so I could try and keep my train of thought this time. Um, Connie, um, quilted Connie B. I wanted to say you're looking great, Connie. I can't believe the difference um, in you. And I just, uh, I know you're going to keep up the good work, and um, you look fab. Um, everybody else is doing so well. Um, I wanted to talk about plastic surgery a little bit. Um, uh, so many people are um, recovering right now from various procedures that have been done. Um, I, too, recently had a consultation with a plastic surgeon here in Charlotte. Um, so I'm looking at doing a few things. Um, one would be a breast lift with augmentation. Uh, another is a tummy tuck. And the third thing would be my arms. Um, so in order of importance to me, however, um, probably is the tummy tuck. So um, that is something that I am looking at. Um, possibly pursuing. Um, I'm probably going to get another um, doctor to uh, give me another consultation, but definitely something I might be pursuing in the future because, um, uh, you know, that, that's not going anywhere. So um, my arms, I don't like them, but can cover them up relatively, you know, relatively easy. Um, my breasts, I can get help from Victoria's Secret. I have Victoria's Secret uh, tank top on today, Victoria's Secret bra on. Um, so those two can be covered um, relatively easy and lifted and make it look like I have a whole bunch when I really don't. So um, that's easy to do. If anybody who's um, recently had their tummy tucked on and they want to give me any tips or um, any suggestions, anything going into it, I certainly would appreciate that. Um, I would have had it done tomorrow or yesterday if I had the funding for it. So um, that's something else I have to figure out. I did do, <laughs> had a little bit, uh, a little little something something done at the plastic surgeon's office though. Um, <laughs> I guess I can maybe get in a little closer. Um, I did have some Botox done. Actually, I had quite a bit of Botox done um, around my eye area here, my forehead. Um, I think it helped a lot. I'm very happy with the results, and I would absolutely do it again. And I'm sure I will be doing it, in, you know, in the future. Um, would love to do these lines here, um, as you know, from weight loss too, and just the general, you know, general aging process. Those get real deep. Um, those, however, need filler, um, like a Juvederm instead of just Botox, which is very costly. Um, it does last like over a year though, so something I may consider for the future. I feel younger. Uh, let's see, what else? Um, okay, so 
a lot of pregnancies. A lot of folks are pregnant. Um, uh, Becky Bamboo, um, looks you look great and you're doing so well. I know you've been sick, but um, hopefully that'll pass. And uh, can't wait to see little Zeke come out. Um, what else? Food cravings. Uh, that was like my one thing I wanted to talk about with this video today is food cravings. When I say cravings, um, I'm probably meaning more like obsession. And I know that um, most of us have had obsessive compulsive behavior with food anyways. Um, r right now though, for me, it's a little bit different. It's a very obsessive. Um, so it's two foods that I would never have eaten before. And now um, I am obsessive about it on a daily basis. Those two things are egg whites from hard boiled eggs and cherry tomatoes. And along with that, going hand in hand with that, is salt. Um, all the salt that I can manage to get, that's what I want. Um, I know that's not good for bloating. It's not good for the scale, which, you know, um, I should say this. My weight is good. My exercise has been good. Um, I've been running. Longest runs I've been doing um, have been between 7 and 10 miles, usually once a week on the longer ones, um, but uh, working out several times a week, at least typically five, six, six days. Um, it's summertime, swimsuit time, so of course I would like to look a little bit better for that, but as far as my actual pounds go, the weight goes, I'm pretty okay with where I'm at right now. Clothing-wise, I'm wearing like... A, size six usually, uh, size six bottom, uh, a medium top. Um, you know, my everything is fine as far as that goes really. Um, obviously it's the extra I have on my stomach area that's very uh, bothering me uh, very much, so I'd like to get rid of that. But as far as size goes, I'm doing okay with that today. Um, actually I wore size uh, four pant. Um, this morning to church so um, so that doesn't really bother me um, I just am trying to tone I'm trying to be fit um, I'm trying to be athletic as uh, Wendy says um, yeah so I just want to look the best I can um, gosh all the girls out there who've had recent tummy tucks and stuff just look amazing um, Sarah will be skinny like, I don't even know what to say about that because it's just amazing. But, like, that's a different person. Like, I don't know where the old one went, but this is not, this is some, uh, somebody new. I don't know. She looks great. Um, so, anyway, if anybody can give me some tips um, on your recent plastic surgeries, I would appreciate that. Um, anything, any questions I should be asking surgeons as I'm going for consultations or things to think about and keep in mind. Um, the food cravings, if anybody has um, some really obsessive cravings like I have been having with the hard boiled eggs, whites, like I would never, ever have eaten those before. So, um, and actually tomatoes, I never ate a tomato, never, 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 never. Um, not on a hamburger, not on a sandwich, not in a salad, I would never eat tomatoes at all. Now I eat at least one pint of cherry tomatoes well, usually every two days, and if I look, if I would allow myself to do it, I would eat a full one every day. So there you go. So sickness, people, sick, sick, sick. Um, that's it. That's all I got. I've uh, taken up about nine minutes, so I'm gonna go next time. Maybe I will do some photos. I'd like to put some before and after photos together, some recent ones, so you can see me. Um, like I say, there's uh, not been a big change, so. Um, anyway, watching everybody, um, all of you going to Las Vegas to the meet and greet, I'm very jealous, I wish I could go, um, and hopefully I will get to one soon. I know that there's one in Atlanta, maybe in the fall, so, um, that's not far from me at all in Charlotte, so maybe I can get there. Anyway, everybody, um, have a good week, and I will talk to y'all soon. Bye.